When I wrote this video, I generally thought that the Power Ranger Lightning Collection was going to stick around for you know a, a lot longer, but we obviously now know that there's a hiatus, and that's causing a lot of problems in the fandom right now because some people don't get it, some people do. Either way, more videos on that much later on. But I kind of really wanted to talk about the remastered line, and I have a feeling that if I'm correct on this one, we are going to be seeing the same figures over and over again, and they'll just re-release the entire line. Now, if you don't know what the remastered line is, currently it is the MMPR range. It has the correct belts, it has the correct figures, everything has been redone. You have closed blade blasters, open blade blasters, the dagger mode, gun mode, you have special effects, and obviously the weapons. There's tons, and obviously the remastered line comes with some brand new stuff as well. Which again doesn't really bother me, it's just kind of nice to actually have the proper ranges in the proper kind of style, rather than what we've had already. The remastered line is a very interesting one, but I do kind of think that this could be Hasbro's way of reusing the mold straight away by redoing the paint, by re-releasing everything, and I really hope that they don't. I can see this only happening at the very end of the line, which I would be okay with not to restart the line straight away. Now, to kind of add some more stuff in now, the fact is that with the year break, they could easily go over everything and kind of make things perfect. That is a possibility right now, which I don't know how I kind of feel about it, but I'm going to talk more about this in the video. Now, Hasbro could do the most logical thing and actually go through teams at the very beginning. We have MMPR, so the next you could do Zeo and work your way through doing it properly. You've got characters now that people are kind of looking for and you could spend more time actually working on the heads to make sure that they are perfect and kind of move forward with them. Having the rangers with the correct weapons would be thing. Obviously they all did come with it, bar Rocky, which again was really weird that they never released it with the Tomfers because I don't know. But from what I remember, Hasbro were kind of just going to get rid of the weapons and, and stuff like that because they just wanted to release the figures. It's really shitty that they wanted to do that, but oh well, that was that was a thing that they, they obviously wanted to do. Now, I generally think that the remastered line could be a good thing if done correctly. If not, it would be absolutely a waste and it would waste people's time. I generally think that if you were serious about the brand and you wanted to make this the remastered line, then go through each series and make sure that it's all correct. Make sure that everything is going right. Look at SPD. If they redid SPD, I think a lot of people would be generally really happy. Have the same logo, have the same kind of decals on there. The morphers are exactly the same. Maybe you could include stuff like the um, like the data pads or something that the Rangers would come with. Something different to actually make sure that it's a decent line. The fandom really likes the Lightning Collection in packs. Look at the Alien Rangers and stuff like that. People enjoy that. So you could easily remake these figures and put them directly in a box set so people would buy it off in one go and you wouldn't have to spend ages just redoing the same figures and then possibly not even finishing them because we don't know what's going to happen with the line or what's going to happen in general. Could they just cancel it at the drop of a hat? Yes, yes they could. They are Hasbro. If they're not making money, fuck it, they're not going to give a shit about what everybody wants or little things like that. So I can definitely see them either stopping the line, but releasing them in packs would probably be a lot better to give the option for people to go, oh cool, I wanna buy all of them in one go. And if you wanted to give an incentive, release the Cat Ranger, release Nova Ranger. That would be a cool thing to add in these packs. And you know, you can add more, you know, the Rick gun cannon thing, the dog. That would be kind of cool to add in there as well. And you have an entire team ready to go. And you know, even though the fans would probably be a bit pissed off, it just means that at least they're getting the proper rangers and a proper collection and make them all in the same size box for all the teams. So then you can put them on the shelf and they look really, really cool because that's what people like. I think that if you did this, maybe the fandom would be okay with it. Now me personally, it sucks double dipping for all the figures, but if these figures were completely done properly, 100% literally to the letter of what the actual rangers look like, I, I would be okay with this. I would hate it because I have every single figure so far, maybe bar two. I generally have most of the figures which I'm happy with, but to have a proper 
looking figure that isn't kind of like, oh, the decal's off or, oh my God, the helmet's not right. Having everything properly done makes things so much better and I wholeheartedly enjoy it. I would rather collect a complete line that would take a little bit longer rather than just a rushed figure. There is a reason why they made the remastered line and I think that is to obviously sell more product. But you have to kind of think of it, why would you just remaster the first lot? I know that the remastered stuff is coming much later on. So I'm generally kind of curious to know how they are kind of doing it. Um, but yeah, I, I like the Lightning Collection. I still think, and I will always say, that it is the best Power Ranger toys out there because generally it's a lot of fun. I like collecting them. I've never collected something this in, intense, but having a remastered line might work. Just hope everything gets done correctly. Otherwise, eh, it's, it's, it's going to be shit anyway. I just wanted to make a quick video on this to kind of give my thoughts. I do like the thought of a remastered line. I generally do. I just want it done right. And if you're going to do teams, the next one would be Zeo and just work your way through that one. You could probably get through it really, really quickly, maybe within, say, two years. But yeah, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to check out the channel memberships, that would be grand. Help the channel grow. I'll leave it there. Thank you very much for watching and listening, and I will catch you in the next video. I want to say a big thank you to all my Patreon supporters, and I wanted to shout out Kimono Cat. Your help does go a long way to support the channel. And if you want to consider helping the channel, then links to my Patreon as well as the channel members are listed below. Ara ara. Channel wo support shite kurete arigatou gozaimasu. Channel 登録、高評価、お願いします。